Hello my fellow nerds. I come to you 45 minutes before the day of the doctor airs here in the UK. I save this video for today because I'm going to make something very special for you guys. Because like all Whovian knows, bananas are good. We are going to make my banana and raisin loaf. Now, my measurements are in metric. If you don't have a scale that measures in metric, congratulations on watching this video from the Dark Ages. Um, there's a simple conversion that you can do. You can find out how on your search engine of choice. Now, we have 110 grams of butter, 110 grams of sugar. Next is 225 grams of self-raising flour. We have two eggs, free range of course, three bananas, bananas are good. Now these ones you'll notice are closer to the ripe end of the spectrum and that helps. Then finally we have 140 grams of raisins. Now these are kind of optional, if you don't like raisins you could use any other dried fruit. Very much like almost any other cake, your basic sponge type mix. So we start by creaming together the sugar and the butter. So that's done. Now we need to add the eggs, but they need to be beaten first. See, this is something that I can do one-handed. Okay, so in they go. Now we need to mix those in with the sugar butter mix. Interesting thing to note, this isn't actually real butter in my mix. I'm lactose intolerant, like a good grade A first class nerd. So this is margarine. Now as you'll see, I'm using a wooden spoon for all of my mixing. Some people find it easier to use a whisk or even a mechanical whisk. Um, I don't actually have one of those. I don't bake all that often and it seems like a lot of investment for something that I don't use often enough. So I tend to just use the brute force and ignorance method and eventually I get the same result. Next we mash two of the bananas. Select the ripest ones. You may want to peel them before you mash them. So here we have our gooey mashed banana going into our gooey egg sugar margarine mix. Now this bit's important. After that's been mixed well into the batter as it stands so far, so you really can't see many chunks of banana at all. Depending on how well you've mashed it, it might just look like one amalgamated brownish colour. You take the third banana and we're going to chop that and just stir it into the mix. Now you're not going to beat it in, you want those banana chunks to be banana chunks. So now all that's left is to add the last few ingredients and we need one pinch of bicarbonate of soda. That just helps to get the rise on the go and we also need a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now don't think that that means that I'm going to sit here and do the cinnamon challenge with you guys because that's just a punishment that I don't want to endure right now. So there we have the finished batter. You can see my chunks of banana, the raisins all up in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer that to our pre-greased tin and that's going to go in a 180 degree celsius oven can't tell you what that is in fahrenheit sorry um, i suggest you look at the conversion for that on your search engine of choice and that stays in there for 45 earth minutes and we'll see you on the flip side whilst that's in the oven i will talk to you guys about my nerdy pleasure yesterday i went to see the hunger games catching fire o m g i was actually astounded. Whew, such a good movie. I just love how well they're adapting these books into film. There's some very serious tugging at heartstrings done in that movie. Well played guys. Well played. Uh, my nerdy question for you guys is do you bake? Because yeah I want to know. I, 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 I bake. I kind of I kinda do. I like I like baking. I don't do it very often, but when I do it, I do it, and I go for it. So, um, I look forward to showing you my finished banana loaf. And there it is. 
my crowning achievement. Just gonna uh um, <laughs> cap. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>